Hello and welcome back to the Tin Barn. I'm Pragmatic Lee and today's video is just going to be a very short uh, follow-up to the last video I did where I made the uh, uh, mold and the dies to press out these, uh, these pieces of uh, sheet metal that I used to make candle holders. First, I want to say absolutely thank you to all the views. Uh, this, this previous video has had more views in the first 10 days and in, than any video I've ever published. Uh, I'm not sure why the interest in it uh, so much, but I truly appreciate it. Uh, the, it's received a lot of comments as well. And the main theme of the comments, the repetitive theme of many of the comments was why didn't I make this plug in the bottom of the uh, pulley that I'm using for a, a mold, why didn't I make that with the dome on it so that it would press this recessed dome for the screw head at the same time it pressed the cut? Well, you kind of told on yourself a little bit. If you watched it to the very end of the video, I explained at the end of the video that not all of these pieces would get that indention. Some of them would be flat. This is one for a tea light candle holder that doesn't have the uh, indention in the bottom for a screw head. And then others get the indention on the bottom side instead of going up into the uh, cup, it actually protrudes out of it for another style of candle holder. But again, I appreciate all the comments. Uh, you just never know how much I really do appreciate them because it got me to thinking about, can I modify this so that I can press that dimple, that inner dimple, nipple, that inner dimple, which is what I'll need the majority of, of the time. Is there a way I can do that all in one press? So what I did earlier, remember, the screw was down in the die, uh, just as a guide. That's what that five millimeter hole and the screw is for, is a guide to keep everything lined up. Well, I got some actually five millimeter uh, tool steel pins, drill rod, and I've, I put one in with some uh, uh, thread lock to uh, hold that in place. I remade the this die to one considerably longer and put the, uh, the recess in there as well. Made it longer so it could go down over that, uh, over this pin that we put in. Then to make that dimple, I went over to my lathe. I've got a, uh, uh, a ball turner that I made for the lathe, and I'll be honest, I made that ball turner many years ago, and the ball that I only, the only ball I'd ever made for it was to go on the handle on the ball turner. So I never got a lot of use out of it. But I put a piece of uh, uh, just a one inch round stock in the lathe, and used that ball, that ball turner, and turned the radius just on the end of that piece of uh, one inch steel. Before doing that, I drilled the five millimeter hole through the center. And then I parted it off so that what I've got, and you may can see in the picture, I parted it off a little bit short. So I just super glued a washer to the bottom of it to make it the right thickness. What that will do. get the burr off of it. That will go down in the bottom of the die of the mold. Again, I need to deburr these. I just drilled that out. But that will go in over it and then the die on there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn to the press and I'm going to show you how we can use a combination from that previous video and the modifications 
in this that I made since that video to make all three of the different types of bases I'll need for the candle holders that I make. All right, so the first uh, press we're going to make here is just the very simple one with no dimple on top or bottom. I also got a comment, a couple of comments about wasn't I concerned that pressing on this cast iron pulley would bust out the bottom of it. Well, the bottom of it is sitting on this. You can see that uh, core that I made for the uh, center, that plug that I made for the center is flat across and therefore it sits flat uh, on, the, on the cross plates. So we'll put one of our pieces in. We'll use that longer die with the flat bottom. Just the simplest, like for a tea light candle holder, I will actually cut some designs out on this later, but no dimple at all. Now let's look at two-step process of making an external dimple. Again, we'll do this the same way. We'll start out On this one, I want to make an external dimple. So I'll use the same process from the previous video, except instead of pushing the dimple into it, like we would have in this case, I'm going to push the dimple outside. I'm putting the ball in. I've got the uh, recess in this die countersink, using the screw to line it up. And there we have an external dimple. If this is going to set down and maybe hold a tea light or Voltaire candle, uh, some type small candle uh, in the center of it, the screw head will be down to the outside. And now, based on all the wonderful comments I received, we're going to try this new step. Again, we're starting out with the same mold. This piece off the end of the uh, uh, the regular round stock made with the ball turner. That will set in there. We'll put this over. And our long die with the recess, with the countersink. Feel when it hits that second stage there and starts pressing the dimple in. So there we have the internal dimple, which this is what the majority of these cups that I'm going to be making will be like this. It's all done in one step. Again, I thank you for all the views on the previous video. There will be 
uh, videos coming out very soon, uh, within a few days, of actually using these cups and making candle holders. Thanks again, and I'll see you in just a couple days on the next video. Mm -hmm.